I'm not good enough. We all know Megan's big break came from a role on Suits, but a camera person who worked with her during that time says Megan was a total diva and that she was high maintenance and rude on set. As far as I'm aware, she was actually very, very professional. And as we know, she has a ton of friends from working on the show there. And I don't think that would have happened if she was a diva. The same camera person also claims Megan was embarrassed by her feet and banned the crew from getting any shots of her twinkle toes. I don't think that this was any big deal and she had any weird like foot phobias or anything like that. I think what it comes down to is if somebody takes a picture of you and there's, you're like, oh gosh, I don't like that. I don't like my outfit in that or my hand looks weird. It's just one of those moments. So no, she has perfectly normal feet. In a new book, a Palace Insider says Megan shouted at a member of Kate's staff and that's what led to Harry and Megan moving out of Kensington Palace. But Melanie says the rumors of a rift began before Megan's wedding are true. I did hear a story at the time that Megan and Kate had had a little falling out, actually, when Charlotte was trying on bridesmaid dresses. But aside from that, you know, it's not like they had some big showdown and were never going to speak again. Rumors have been circulating for years about a royal rift between Harry and William. The latest? Harry is upset with William for stealing the limelight since they were kids. So are Harry and William no longer speaking? They're two people who have gone through their ups and downs. There's no way that these two are not going to be speaking from time to time and trying to have a cordial and hopefully amicable relationship. Only each other knows what it's like to be the son of Princess Diana. So they are going to be speaking from time to time. They're just not as close as they used to be, and that's okay. And there have been reports that Harry really misses the military in dear old England. Los Angeles is a long way away from London and being away from the family that he has grown up with and been very, very close to and always come together in times of crisis, it must be very, very difficult for him right now.